hello folks in this video i will show you how you can schedule local notifications in your application i have this sample project where i schedule a notification and it appears on your mobile screen and when you click on it it will show the notification details in a separate activity so let's start the application and see how it works So after few seconds you will see a notification here it is now if you click on this notification it will show the details of this notification in a separate activity so let's see how all this is done so I have this main activity which schedules a notification on launch so if you notice here after three seconds of launch it tells an arm manager that you have to broadcast this particular pending intent so what pending intent is to all the foreign applications like alarm manager notification managers we don't directly provide an intent we provide an pending intent which in in itself has an intent and your own intent can have your application permissions and you will wrap it inside your pending intent and then for an application will trigger that pending intent which in turn will trigger your own applications intent so now if you see I am creating this pending intent with this particular request code and this particular intent which will be triggered when the alarm broadcasts the pending intent now after three seconds alarm manager will broadcast this particular intent which is this implicit intent and this particular implicit intent is being listened by this alarm receiver which is in the android manifest file let's take a look at that all right so if you notice here I have designed, defined this alarm receiver which is listening to this particular implicit intent now when that alarm triggers that pending intent which in turn triggers the display notification intent alarm receiver will receive that and start doing this stuff so alarm receiver is basically building a notification and giving that to the notification manager which will show it on your notification bar so what it does is it creates this task stack builder which has this notification intent because on click of that you would want to trigger this particular intent which opens your notification activity now in this builder you will again create a pending intent because you are passing that pending intent to, your, to the notification manager which is a foreign application now this notification manager will trigger this pending intent on click of the notification and which in turn will trigger your applications intent which you will provide which is nothing but this notification intent so now you will set this notification intent and you will pass this particular pending intent to the notification you will use this builder to build your notification with headers description the ticker and this particular flag is to to say when the notification is clicked remove that notification from the notification bar you can also set your own icon which could mat match to your application and when notification manager notifies this it appears the notification appears on your notification bar and whenever you click the notification this intent is triggered which is nothing but opening the notification activity and which has the content show notification details here right in your intent you can pass the data which you require 
to show on this page and you can use that data in your notification activity so that's how it would work that's all folks i hope you like this video